Weston with OpticLEDGrowLights.com. And today we're releasing the new Slim Kilowatt 500 Bloom. So we're going to take a closer look and we're going to go over some of the features and benefits on this brand new fixture. So we have this light set up right here. So we're going to be able to take a closer look at the, the diodes, the boards, the dimmer, and what this light is engineered to do. We also have it set up in the 4x4 tent. This is the size grow tent that this light is specifically engineered for. You can see here, Slim Kilowatt. So this is from the Slim Kilowatt series. And yes, this does work with the controller. So if I wanna go immediately into the controller and I wanted to turn this light off, I could just do that. I can bump it right back on. And one thing that's really cool about this light over here, this one has the lenses on. So I highly recommend getting these lenses. It's a third layer of optics because the diode has a lens on it and there's a 120 degree reflector that's built into the bar that you can see right here. But this does add diffusion and even out the light spread. So you can see that the boards and the diodes look slightly different when you have those lenses on there. So taking a closer look, so what makes this light truly incredible is the LED chips, the spectrum, which is from how we have these LED chips set up here in this array. Over 480 of the deep reds. Now I'm gonna take you back over here so we can take a closer look at these boards. So you're gonna see here, these are four deep reds in a row, you know, more reds and then two blue. So you can kind of see how that pattern works out. More red, more red, more red blue so there's over 480 of these deep red led chips and the fixture as a whole has over 3300 led chips you can see this purple dot right here that's ultraviolet and this is infrared that really dim red dot right next to it there and those chips there's 24 of each so it's fully loaded with uv and ir all on one fixture six bar light but with the four row LED boards on here. Now this light is rated for a three micromoles per joule and a PPFD of 1100 plus. So one thing that's really cool about this light is because it's so spread out with the way that the light is dispersed over the canopy here is there's very minimal hot spot in the middle. And to, to point this out, with this light, you can get your plants as close as six inches to this particular light, and that's when you're at that 1100 PPFD level. So this allows you to maximize your space inside your grow tent. On max power, pulls 520 watts. So you can see this is what it looks like from the top side here. So incredibly efficient at that 520 watts. And 1100 PPFD is, is a massive amount of light. Really nice even light spread across the canopy there. So on this one, you can see we have it hooked up to the controller, but you also have the manual dimmer here. So you can click it into manual mode and manually adjust with that dimmer there. So of course you can see those full PPFD charts on opticledgrowlights.com. Now this light here is engineered to have a mind blowing amount. So no 500 watt class light on earth has more deep reds is what you're gonna find on this light with 480. So that's a tremendous amount of these red diodes. And what's really nice about these reds is they're super efficient. And of course, that's the peak absorption rate on your plants is that 660 nanometer deep red. So you do have, wanna have a good load of that to feed into the canopy, so especially in flower. Now this spectrum is, is considered a bloom spectrum. Yes, you could veg with it, but it's specifically engineered for that premium tropical exotic bud that medical cannabis patients are truly looking for. And having all those extra bloom enhancers does a great job of delivering on that. So when you set this light up in your tent to start, you want to raise your light up high away from your plants and let your plants slowly grow up into the higher light intensity over time. 
And that's a pro tip on how you get the best results. You can also take a par meter and just record your par around the edges and in the middle. And you can kind of see where you're at with par. And the later you get into flower, the more light intensity that canopy is going to be able to absorb. So really, really easy light. Uh, another interesting thing is this light is engineered to make it the easiest to give you the best results possible and making it extremely difficult to overblast light or to stress your plants because of that 520 watts max and this light is spread out over such a large area that uniform light with those peak absorption rates on these reds and blues here makes it just an amazing light for your plants to feast on so pick one of these up slim kilowatt 500 bloom there is a limited quantity and we do have a couple growers in the grow community here you're going to see with one of these slim kilowatt 500 bloom lights so thank you guys for dropping by and we will bring you more details soon